So welcome to the AIBC Hack by Planets, hosted by uh, CrowdHack and Blockcheck. And super excited to have this mentorship session on how to create a social game bot in one day with Daria Novikova. So thank you very much, Daria, for uh, for hosting the session. Can you please introduce yourself before we jump in? Yeah, sure. Thanks for inviting me. And um, I'm Daria, uh, Chief Product on Tonplay. I'll tell you a bit more about what we are doing throughout my presentation. But I'm very excited to be here as a mentor to share the knowledge we have on our side. Amazing. So let's get started. Cool, cool. Um, so yeah, let's get started. My topic today is how to create a social game bot in one day, approximately. So I think it's important to clarify two points first. Uh, what is stunt play? Tonplay is a platform, is a toolkit to build and run blockchain games on Ton and Telegram. I hope you all know what is Telegram, but tell, let me tell a bit more about what is Ton. Ton is a layer one blockchain initially made by Telegram team, and it's open source now uh, developed by the community. So I think we've done with this part, Ton, Telegram, Tonplay is an X system. Uh, which provides tools, audience, and technology. So it's important to say that Telegram is about 700 million users. So we want to make it awesome. No smart contract development, simple integration during one day, guides, videos, and support. All is done. And um, I think it's really important to start thinking about what is social game bots, what it could be. And the answer is, as usual, really simple. These games should use social mechanics as a main gameplay. This social mechanics could not be just a meta game or just an additional community feature. It should be the main gameplay with leaderboards, competition with your friends, and referral mechanics. And also, um, why the topic today is how to integrate and do so during one day. Because it's really simple, these games don't require complex graphics or heavy backend, you know, don't need to develop your game like during one or two or three months, even a year. Nope. That should be something really simple, which could be easily validated. And I'll show you cases how to do so. And also the most important idea here is that these games could go viral through different through social. It means that um, it definitely could not be just a solo game. It should be multiplayer. It should be about interaction between people, between users. So let's think about it. Um, the next question to answer is, what do you need to start? Uh, as I said, we are trying to simplify everything. So on one side, it's about ready to use APIs, guides, and platform to publish. Their second point is simple mechanics, as I mentioned. And the third part is ability to share gaming experience with your friends. So here we have Ton as a technology, your creativity and ideas for mechanics, Telegram as a platform where you can share all you need with your friends, and Ton play in the middle because we are trying to connect everything together. Also, I want to mention that our mission is to uh, bring mass adoption to users. That's quite like common mission for these type of projects as we do. However, we do believe that blockchain is not a feature. It's just a technology. It's the same as, you know, you order a taxi. You don't think about what kind of algorithms behind it. You just enjoy the experience, go somewhere in two minutes. The same happens with blockchain because right now there are lots of projects where blockchain is like a main basic on you know, what people develop, but you should think in a different way. I suggest you to think on how can we make experience better with blockchain as a technology. Um, so, let me suggest you simple steps how to validate the idea. 
you definitely need to create your first Telegram bot, uh, register it via father bots, have the key, like basic steps, and set up the user flow. It means that um, you should be sure what user will do during, for example, one minute, two minutes, three minutes, no more, just the, to clarify the idea. Also, use low code instruments. I'll tell you a bit more later. And then share with friends and push referrals. What I mean by sharing with friends, it means that all you do, please do for yourself and for your friends, because if you can live through this experience, you could be sure what user needs. So you can like push it and motivate your users and yourself. Become your first user. That's quite important. And um, let's talk about instruments. What kind of instruments do you have right now? I love the thought that innovations is just new combinations. This is um, something which changed my mind when I first heard it. And the thing is that you've already had all instruments you need. Uh, let's play Lego. First instrument you have is web app inside Telegram. Web app is a way to launch your HTML5 or Unity or GS build right on Telegram. You know, just in WeChat or Kakao Talk on, in Korean uh, popular messenger or in VK.com, which is Russian popular messenger, uh, you can launch your own app inside the Telegram. And bots allow you to do so. That's the magic. Also, we suggest you to use Tonplay user authorization to get all information about uh, blockchain stuff. Um, we simplified it. Also, I'm asking you to use all these amazing AI solutions. I know that's hype right now. Everybody knows that. So please use it. Don't spend lots of time for designers, for like a lore or uh, your, for example, gameplay story. Just push AI solutions to do so for you. And then you just need to choose the best one. And also the last point, part, but not least, definitely tone play in game marketplace. If you have, for example, assets in your game and you create mechanics where players can like change assets or exchange assets or sell them, purchase them. So uh, we share the open in game marketplace so you can implement it to your um, game easily. And definitely APIs. Uh, as I said, please use low code solutions. So here we have the way to create assets and collection, uh, get information about users, uh, get payments, make and automate payouts. So everything to use blockchain as a technology, not as a feature. Cases, my favorite part, uh, everybody waiting for them, I'm sure. So I'll share a few. Hope you just get the idea of what I'm suggesting you to try out. Um, so the very first one, I think lots of people um, see them on Telegram. There are a ton lag bots. This is a basic roulette, I gaming uh, type of games. This is the web app on Telegram. And uh, I suggest you to try out something like this because it's definitely really social. Um, sh short sessions, you can play anytime, anywhere, you can share results. And also you have this like uh, iGaming part of motivation. The second one, Tone Running Club. Oh, this is my favorite one. I know people who made it. These guys just enjoy running. And I say that Town Running Club is just like a step in, but without this um, scum or um, how to say that, I mean, pyramid um, project. It means that people who run in this bot, they're motivated just by themselves. They just enjoy running. They do love sport. 
and the project reward them and they push them to compete between each other. So they share challenges recently. What it means that bot ask you to uh, invest your 10 tons in challenge. Then you should run every day during seven, seven days. And then if everything's fine, you get your 10 tons back. However, if you lose, like if you don't run one day, you don't get your money back. And if you've done the challenge and somebody left, you get like a bit more. So people share their amounts of reward. I think people run there not because of like they want money. They don't need money because like they're just betting 10 tons to that. It's not the way to uh, work there as, for example, play to earn games. It's just to add more fun, to add more challenge, to challenge yourself and your friends. This is really important. So here I'm suggesting you to think what kind of sports you can share in this way. Probably you're like a huge fan of cycling or skiing or swimming, doesn't matter. Uh, think of sport as a huge social game as well. So, um, and you can create lots of meta challenges there. Um, a bit of statistics, uh, this is like a slide of the end of last year. They started just with very minimal of users, like all this 20 accounts is just our friends. And then the virality started. People started inviting more people and more people. And as in best cases, it worked, the platform started growing. So I'm moving on. And my third case is the arena. This is our demo game actually made by Tonplay. Uh, this is a demo because we are like sharing all technical solutions uh, in this bot. However, I want to share that this is Unity game, which is really important because like sometimes people think like, oh my God, I don't want to push Unity game and Telegram web app. That's crazy. No, it's done. And um, let me share the screen of the game. Um, that's quite easy. We've done it, okay, not in one day, but in one week. And uh, this is just a simple hyper casual game where you can like battle with some guys in space. And um, here we have um, damage, some bonus square, which could be purchased with ton, which is really common way to top up the balances or to purchase in-game assets, really. You don't need to care like in which country your user is. You just ask user to pay in crypto. That's cool. This is the perfect way to use blockchain as a technology. And also uh, these guys are like NFTs or SFTs, which is a multi-copy of um, NFT. And it co also could be purchased uh, on the marketplace. But the thing is that um, you can share your score inside the Telegram. Oh, sorry. You see here, after you play Telegram, check the score and you can share it with your friends. You can add this bot to your friend's chat. And that's how the virality also starts. Um, my, third, th my fourth case is Phantom. I love these guys. They uh, share their passion to, to sports as well. Uh, football, most popular sports in the world, I think. So they have tournaments, and tournament means that they have lots of users. And um, I think that mechanic should be used for different sports, not only for football. I know football, like, everybody loves it. However, lots of different sports, for example, American football, which is quite popular in the U.S., uh, cricket, which is really popular in India, um, I don't know, hockey, anything, all team sports could use the same fantasy sports mechanics. And uh, the last point to mention here is that if you bring it directly on bots or on web app, on Telegram, people can communicate with each other, discuss the situation, discuss how it's going on, the like current match in physical world, 
and then bet or I don't know participate in tournament um, with like blockchain NFT cards NFT tournaments doesn't matter and then that happened directly on telegram bots that's the magic um, also I have reference here this is not like a case but I push everybody to use this reference um, I think that we need more iGaming cases, definitely, card games. My mom, for example, she's not a casino girl, but still she loves play cards. It means like basic games. And she need like another app, go on some web browser, like to do stuff, doesn't matter. However, she could play directly on Telegram again. And um, in this case, I just push you to use it as a reference. This is really cool, uh, guys. Um, and this is really easy to start doing. So don't forget about these card games and iGaming. Uh, this is, sounds tricky, but still, I do believe that it could work perfectly on Telegram web app. And the last slide about cases uh, and inspiration. I know that if we're talking about like even about social games or like basic mobile gaming, um, we usually think about something uh, already invented. I mean, farm, space farm, card games, um, shooters, rouge games, like it seems like everything already done. That's annoying in some way if you want to create something new. However, my favorite platform as a passionate indie gamer is itch.io. So just uh, check this website, check their ideas, play one, two, three, four type of games, and then use it as a reference to bring it on Telegram. I believe in Telegram gaming, really. And I want to see more interesting cases there. And Telegram is a messenger. Messenger means it's social. So let's bring all this stuff together. My summary for today, try hard or die trying, my favorite phrase when I'm doing uh, my job, uh, actually copy and improve. It's really um, hard to believe that oh my God, I, I'm copying somebody, oh no. But I think that copying somebody is really fine because when you do so, you do it by yourself. And it means that you cannot copy like one-to-one. -one. You definitely improve it and you get the new product. Use low code mm, that save your time a lot. You don't need to develop everything by yourself. Create inside Telegram. I think during my whole presentation, you felt this passion to Telegram, but yeah, it is, it is as it is. Definitely please create for your friends and for yourself. If you enjoy it, everybody will enjoy it. And have fun. That's really important when we talk about social, about games. Please have fun. It should be something um, which you're excited about. So that's all for today. I ask you to um, keep going and please ask me anything. I have the link for our game dev program and I'll join the hackathon chat. So I'm ready to ask any questions you have. Beautiful. Thank you so much for the lovely presentation, Daria. It was super interesting. I think one of the best that we had so far. Um, I will ask the participants to raise their hand or directly ask questions in the chat if they have some questions and they want to interact with you now. Another thing, uh, like I'm going to send right now in the chat the, diff the two different Telegram channels. So one of them would be the general one that you can join if it's not already the case. And one is for track two, social bots. And uh, Daria, if you can also join this one, it would be great so that participants who have questions specifically for this can, uh, sure. can ask them there. Sure. So I think- I sent them, I... Uh, I sent them in the chat here. 
yeah, yeah, I, I see. Uh, I think I stopped sharing the screen. Um, so, and yeah, I'm waiting for the questions. Thank you. Hey, Daria, first of all, thank you for the presentation. I find it really interesting. And while I'm not a game developer the last uh, year, I have invested in a couple plate burn games. So it's definitely interesting. Um, is the documentation for connecting Telegram on the Telegram website, or uh, is this, let's say, some integrations through Tone Play? Well, Telegram has really great documentation to figure it out how to connect, how to create, and then how to connect your uh, build to web app. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'll send you links uh, for material, as I mentioned. It could mm -hmm. be really useful for everybody who want to do something like that. And yep, if we're talking about blockchain part, that's what we are doing on Tonplay. We're trying to... Uh, like, solve lots of cases and yep we have documentation to solve them uh so i'll share it with you in chat yeah okay i see in your website it will be great maybe we can share also with the participants of the hackathon since they might want to use them thank you yep so um Angela, Alexander, do you have some some cats? Do you have any any specific question that you would like to ask Daria while she's here? Is everything clear? Any any issues that you're facing right now while building that perhaps she can she can help solve, or everything's good for now and you prefer to ask questions in the chat later? I think sometimes it's gonna be a bit intimidating for people to <laughs> yeah to ask I know I know. Sometimes, like, I listen to a person, like, the lecture or something, and they say, well, it's time for questions. And I'm like, I have nothing. Everything's clear. But then, like, a <laughs> few minutes later, probably hours or days, I have, yeah, I should have asked that. But anyway, I'm in chat. <laughs> Yes, I guess sometimes as you're building, the questions might pop up again. That's why it's really cool like, if everyone can join this uh, this uh, Telegram chat so that we can help you much better during your, during yeah, your building I time. I one more uh, question because I believe it will be interesting for many participants. Are you aware of any grants or opportunities from Telegram for indie game developers to, to launch their games on the network? Um, well, I think uh, there could be different uh, ways to get grants. First mm -hmm. of all, uh, Town Foundation have grant program. Also, we can share the link to this and uh, you can start building something uh, using Town and then apply for the grant. Uh, I think they have like uh, second quarter open. So they are ready to get more uh, vacations. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, the second one is that Tonplay usually helps like projects uh, with the traffic. So we have traffic grants. And if your project is like well done, working well, um, no bugs, like critical ones, it means that we are ready to start the campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, we check it out and then uh, pay for the traffic. Nice. Uh, this is like a two option, which is jumped up in my mind right now. I definitely sure that there could be more. We also have investors day for our projects, uh, which uses our, for projects, which use our um, infrastructure. Uh, however, that's not like well settled as uh, foundation grants, but still we can help with it. That's great. Uh, I'm pretty confident also a lot of people will find this interesting. Uh, 